What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar, and uh, this video came across my timeline saying men playing video games is making modern women mad, and it's by Adamant Mindset, and I just want to see what the fuck she talking about, and why are us men that play video games on the chopping block again? Like, why are we always a topic of discussion? Like, we don't bother nobody. She got her cheeks clapped by a video gamer, and he left her. Probably. That's usually what it is. A nigga was just a smooth criminal, bro. Clapped them cheeks and dipped out. Let's see what they're talking about. It's what you... Oh, uh, like, comment, subscribe, y'all. I appreciate the love, bro. Appreciate everybody sticking it out with me. I know my views are boo-boo now, but... The folks that be checking in on me, you know, making sure I'm straight watching. I appreciate all of y'all. Let's get into it. Could be doing with that time. There it is, and that's what I knew it. It's I knew what it. you could. You, wanna, you women want to task us <laughs> no, so no, no, bad no, 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 no. that you're so pissed. No, no. Women ranked the least attractive hobbies for men. And at the very top of the list, the most unattractive hobby was playing video games. A lady, there's two of us. Which one are you talking to? Wait, are you guys playing with these guys? We're a full squad. And you enjoy them talking to women like this? We ignore them. We ignore them. Okay, yeah. No, it doesn't. All right. I'm sorry. Please talk. Sh oh my god, I love women. You gotta be nice to me, even though this is a man's game. Like, shut up. Nigga making <laughs> on the game. What <laughs> avatars? Like, nigga, what you wanna look like? <laughs> Who the <laughs> is this? Okay, so when y'all create y'all character, do y'all not create? I don't know. I think I'm I'm the weird one. I always create myself when I play a, a game that uh is a creative character. But I have seen a lot of the bros, they create females, which is weird. And their uh, excuses, they want to see a woman's ass throughout the whole game. And I'm just like, no, nah, bro, that's weird. I think if you, I mean, I'm not judging you. I'm judging you. But, like, it doesn't bother me. Like, just take Destiny. Nine, nine out of ten, the player that you're playing with that's that female character is a dude. And I've learned to just accept that it's very weird. Like, the only game I like you don't really think about, you know, if you're playing as a girl or dude is like Call of Duty because the skins are just fire. Like, I bought all the Gundam skins, and one of them is uh, the Gundam Aerial skin, but it's on, you know, Gundam Aerial. If y'all watched, seen the anime, it's a female Gundam, but the skin is just dope. So, like, and then, like, another one of my favorite skins on Call of Duty is all the galaxy ones they put it on this chick i forget her name but she has all the galaxy skins so like call of duty is just like it's just the skin you really ain't got no choice especially if you think the skin is dope but i'll be looking at the dudes who like be playing with custom created characters like in elden ring destiny like they go out of their way to make a female character i i I think it's weird, but I would like to know in the comments why y'all do that. You know what I'm saying? So, I get, you know, a female walking into your room and then seeing you play as a female. I get that would be very weird, especially to somebody who doesn't play video games. Because you would think you're living your fantasy of saving the world like like me i'm in my fan in my head i'm role playing as the fantasy character that i you know my like my what i always wanted to be as like six-year-old me like when i play final fantasy 14 i'm a dude i you know i'm playing as like my bunny character dude like i want to be like just the lord of races where the bunnies come from they're from basically like you know their version of africa and shit well northern africa and in the americas and shit like well it just depends on which race of bunny you are one of them is from the americas and one of them is from northern africa but still i'm a dude version of them and in the lore the dude rabbits leave off they're the ones that go venture off and travel the world because it's not that many of them and the female ones stay home 
and you know build up the land and the ecosystem and shit i'm getting off topic but even still when i see like all the female characters in final fantasy 80 percent of them are dudes it's so weird to me so just let me know just let me know what you would you know in the comments what y'all think because it's weird to me i would like to know that mindset Hello there fellas, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're gonna see women do not like men playing video games and their logic behind it. Let's see. But the whole gaming thing... <sighs> What's the problem? Jacqueline has this big problem too. It, it, because... It's just lazy. It feels... Un like unless you're getting paid... And there's a line, right? Like it's cool if you want to do it every so often, but to me I'm like... Go educate. Like, go do something productive. But what is the problem? Like, right. you know, Jacqueline has a big problem with it, too. Whenever she hears the PlayStation start up, like, oh, I got to hear the go. huffing and puffing. Yeah. But if we were, to, if I were to just have TV on, you'd be on TikTok as it is, not because paying it's, attention. It's not that, so why does it bother you? Because, it, because it's not the distraction of me being on TikTok and us watching TV. It's what you could be doing with that time. There it is, and that's what I knew it. It's I knew what it. you could. You, you women want to task us <laughs> no, so no, 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 bad no, 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 no. that you're so pissed no, no, that we're taking no, time no. from doing something. No. Wait a minute, you're enjoying things? You have time to do this but video see, game? Here's the thing. Oh, here's all the things but you could be doing. here's the thing, you're enjoying it, but you could also be planning something nice for us. You know, like... <laughs> <laughs> like Planning something nice for us. Why? Before he gets started, that's one of my biggest pet peeves with females, especially today. A lot of females that I run into now, if you're trying to do something for them, trying to take them out this and third, you got half of them that expect that from you, and them the ones I don't want to fuck with. Like, you expect me to do all this, girl, get off my dick. But then you got the other ones who are so independent that if you do anything for them, it feels like it's a slight at them and, and their independence. And it's so annoying. You can't be one group you don't want to deal with because they expect that and they expect, and they don't want to do nothing for you. They don't even want to like even do anything to remotely get to you spending money for them. They think it's beneath them. You just got to do it because of who they are, which they ain't nothing like. And it's a bunch of bitches who don't travel the world and shit and don't realize that, like, you may be a 9 or 10 in your city, but you a 3 or 4 in fucking Austin, Texas. Or you a, a, you a fucking 2 in San Antonio. You a fucking uh, 2 in San Diego. You a fucking 1 in, in Miami or la and shit like that like it's so irritating dealing with people especially here in alabama god is so irritating de dealing with women here and then you got women who are so independent so stuck up their friends asses and shit who don't see when a good dude is in front of them to where you can be trying to do shit for them and they don't want you don't want to do shit with you but as soon as they friends they do something they jumping up to as soon as they friends want to go do something they jumping up to as soon as they friends want to pay for them and take care of them and do all this that and third they jumping up to them but as soon as a man wants to do that for them oh no not in the, they 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 can't do it like they too independent they don't need no man to do this down the third or whatever bro it's so fucking irritating so then you hop and then they want to use the excuse that you're always on the game but when you try to do something with them they don't want to do it because you're paying for it it makes no fucking sense bro and then it's just like they don't want to they don't want to indulge in nothing you do they don't want to watch you could be at home trying to watch a movie with the bitch they not into it they ain't got no fucking mind of their own they don't even know how to like try anything new they don't know how to get into a new movie series or anything on TV. They don't want to try nothing unless one of their friends at work tell them or one of their friends tell them to watch the show. Then they'll do it. But if you try to put them on to something, they don't want to do that shit. And it's so tiring. Then you just hop on. The, all you got, all, the only thing you got is to hop on the game. And then they come over every day and they see you on the game. They think you're a bum when they don't see all the, the long list of shit. 
they got us to this point. They can only see you on the game. And that's their excuse. It's so fucking irritating, bro. Hi. Doesn't that man requires his own time? He has to just relax. See, gaming doesn't need much time. Most men only play like two or three hours max per day. We were and then for my brothers that work 12 hour shifts to come home to a nagging bitch who don't respect them, who don't respect them, who don't even appreciate what they do for the house, putting over day shit. They dealing with a woman who wants them to fit in this perfect ideal of a man that they envision in their head instead of understanding this is the man that they chose to sleep with this is the man they chose to have kids with and instead of learning this man understand how he ticks and operates they're sitting here trying to make this man fit this perfect image and and he's stressing out he can't talk to her he can't vent all he got is the game and then when he does everything, he works and then comes home, does everything she wants him to do, and he hops in the game, and she still finds a way to bitch and nag. I pray for those brothers. I, I'm so sad for brothers that go through that shit. And it irritates my soul. Like, bro, you don't know how many times I've been on the game and hear some, some bitch in the background screaming and yelling at the bro, and he just hopped on the game, bro. He just hopped in the party. The whole reason I don't even got bros to play with anymore is because their woman took them from the gang, bro. It's so sad, bro. It's so fucking sad. But walk and stuff, you have to sleep, you have to eat. We don't have much time unless you're like a college kid or something who has a lot of time, then that's a different issue. But come on, they constantly want your time to be fixated on treating them something nicely. Why he has to be productive all the time? Makes no sense. If he enjoys gaming, let him do that. If he enjoys some other hobbies, let him do, do that, man. Come on. And then on top of that, girls can sit there and scroll on TikTok endlessly, spend time at makeup, go to Target all day long, spend money 24-7. But as soon as their man starts to enjoy something, they have a fucking problem. It is disgusting at this point, bro. It's so sad seeing, hearing all. The, like I hear about this shit all the time, bro. It like it's one, it's a pet peeve of mine. Like it's so sad that men cannot just have a moment to themselves in in today's society because of how fucked up social media got these women's heads now. It's so fucked up, bro. Oh. There are some comments for this. She hates that you are at peace and enjoying yourself. Exposed, they just can't stand seeing men having good time and being happy. Mm -hmm. But it's not the same. Stop having fun without me. That's sad as F, bro. She has no point. He, however, does. So there was this post that went extremely viral for the past week where women ranked the least attractive hobbies for men. And at the very top of the list, the most unattractive hobby was playing video games. I have no idea if these stats are real. No, no one could find the actual source of where it came from. It's trust me, bro. But Liz Wheeler posted it saying this is 100% true. Men playing video games is peak unattractive beyond red flag, like deal breaker zone. It's weird that so many dudes don't get this. Well, the rest of the list is also interesting. Second, collecting figurines, magic tricks, online trolling, gambling, building model trains, taxidermy, comic book collecting, and bird watching. So guys, so basically, so basically you can't be a dude at all. I guarantee you somebody like drake pull up and say he don't like drake what the, don't Dr what does drake do i forgot what the, he does one of them weird things and it's okay for him to do it fuck what is it fuck what is it oh shit what is it they just said it drake what the fuck does drake do he gambles he gambles but it's okay for drake um uh, Michael B. Jordan, he's a fuck. We know he's the nerdiest of the nerds and all types of shit. It's okay for him. Like, bitches googly eye, googly, googly face over him. Um, what's another one? Somebody else. There's so many men. 
especially now today's like the sports media and and people who play sports and all the NFL niggas and shit like that. All those dudes get a pass. Like, bruh, that's why I say, like, bruh, it don't matter. They say this shit to the niggas they don't like. But if it's a nigga they like, a fine attractive, man, you can get away with murder with them bitches, bruh. And and the street niggas do. The street niggas be out here murdering. And the bitches fall for them every time. Any hobby a man has, they don't like it. Let me guess what they like. They want you to waste your time and money on them. That's what they would love one day. You can go out and you can lose your your family's rent money or mortgage payment at the at the craps table as long as you're not at home playing video games. Is gambling a hobby? Yes. Oh yeah, for yeah. a lot of people. I mean, it, you could call it that, but I don't I don't know if you should make it part of your identity. Um, so, I think magic tricks are attractive, wait, and so I think online trolling is the most attractive <laughs> trait. The most attractive hobby for any man is Wait, online so trolling. What if you play online poker? Is that gambling or is that video games? I don't it's know. A, hey, listen, <sighs> I don't know how to answer it's these questions. So this is tough. There was a similar view. one posted by an account on Instagram called Utah Stats, and uh -huh. it said uh, they polled like a few hundred women in Utah to respond to rate how much more romantically interested you would be in an individual upon finding out they participate in the following hobbies. Okay. Video games was still at the top as the, you know, I would be much less attracted to this person if they were interested in video games. Okay, Let, let's let's take the phrasing of that really Yoga clear. and sewing and fishing were also on the list. <laughs> okay, what's the phrasing on that? Uh, what's the question a, again? A nigga can't sew no more? I can't fix my, my Power Ranger costume, bruh? That's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. My nigga can't sew his his gun handle no more. The, what's the thing? The gun holster on my suit. One more time. Rate how much more romantically interested you would be in an individual upon finding out they participate or engage in the following hobbies. Okay, I don't think... I'm just going to go on a limb here. I don't think that playing video games for the vast majority of women, when you hear a guy play video games, you're like... All right, they're taking they take off my pants, right? I don't, I don't think that happens, right? I just want to say one thing about that poll that was mentioned about the unattractive things the women are choosing. If we had a poll similarly for the woman, what we don't want attractive, oh, of man. course, the basic usual thing, high body count, loud attitude, bad personality and other traits which are like very uh, common in modern women, you would see this on national news level. Like <laughs> men would be shamed and all that stuff. It's crazy how this works. Bruh, if we made a list and be like, don't scroll endlessly on TikTok, you know how many bitches would go up in flames, bruh? Like the internet would set a blaze if we made a list like they did, bruh. Like if we did, the, if we put out the same energy, bruh, God, oh my God. So in this next clip, there is this woman who was trying to protect other women from getting bullied on an online game lobby. We all know what game lobbies are, but it got backfired. Let's see. An activist named Steffi Evans posted a clip of her uh, getting into a spat with who she calls a pick me Twitch streamer in the middle of an Xbox Live banter. I found out that this woman actually. Hey man, them Xbox streets dangerous, bro. Shouts out to my Xbox homies, bro. Them niggas been holding down since 2006 with the the, the disrespect, bro. Xbox bitches, niggas. White dudes, them niggas don't care. They gonna cuss you out any day of the week, bro. And they, and it better not be any time after seven. They finna get on your ass, bro. Bro, I've been fuck, bro. I, I'm a PlayStation nigga, bro. I'm a PlayStation nigga, bro. But I still be on my Xbox every now and then, bro. I love. Listen, man. I play all my Star Wars games. On and I got uh Vanguard on Xbox, bro. Xbox niggas different, bro. And of course I still play Halo. Bro, Xbox niggas built different, bro. I fuck with my, I fuck with my Xbox niggas, bro. 
I know, I just know this girl cussed her out. I know she went in. They different on Xbox. Founded a nonprofit activist organization called Unmute. She, it's aimed at creating a space where the line between competitive banter and harmful speech is clear and respected. <laughs> that is the lamest thing. This is thing a real ever, thing. This is the lamest thing I've ever. She's going to go before Congress. <laughs> this before is, long. I'm looking at the website right now. It says, unmute and get loud. Tired of being told to kill yourself in online games? We are too. We're a charity that actively combats harassment, misogyny, racism, and bigotry in online games through advocacy, co-ed tournaments, scholarships, educational resources. And they went to the right console. Xbox. Them niggas grimy over there. Nurturing a supportive social community. If you hate fun, just say so. I, uh, <laughs> I have not seen this woman, but I'm going to go on a, just a ledge here and ready to jump off the building and guess that she's probably... A twenty-something white girl. That looks be... like it. Looks like is, is it this, from here. Is, is this the case? Let's take a look at let's, the clip. Let's listen to the clip here. Okay. What's up, everybody? What's up, what would you dog? tell me to do? Uh, you're on. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Bro! you hear what that nigga say? What's up, you dumb thought? <laughs> Probably. A 20-something oh white girl. God, that looks like... I love Xbox niggas, bro. Them niggas is so hurtful, bro. Like it? Looks like is, is it this, from here. Is, is this the case? Let's take a look let's, at the clip. Let's listen to the clip here. Okay. What's up, everybody? What's up, what would you dog? tell me to do? You're a hoe. You're a hoe. So, lady, there's two of... <laughs> You're a hoe. Of us, which one are you talking to? Wait, are you guys playing with these guys? We're a full squad. And you enjoy them talking to women like this? We ignore them. We ignore them. Okay, yeah, no. That's all you gotta do, bro. All you gotta do is ignore the niggas, bro. If you don't feed into them, they, they go on about their day, bro. They go on about their day, bro. They literally are made to get under your skin, bro. Oh, it doesn't... All right. I'm sorry. Please talk shit. Oh, my God! You gotta be nice to me, even though this is a man's game. Like, shut up. <laughs> Please call her a bitch. Dramatic call her music. A bitch. <laughs> Yo, lady, call me a bitch. I dare you. You're a bitch. Dude, bitch. Why don't you put some shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Damn, this is easy. Oh, yeah, you guys dick up your throat. Shut the fuck up. Too easy, guys. Oh my god. The dramatic editing is my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love, like, whoever she pays to edit her videos deserves a raise. <laughs> Oh. Yo, she's triggering me. Bitch. Hey, hey, bitch, shut the fuck you up. You bitch, you're gonna disrespect women like that? You can take that flag and put up your pussy, you stink, bitch. Brother, why are you guys so <laughs> upset? <laughs> you voice is fucking annoying. That's the what, bro? When, when the white dudes that just got off a 12 hour shift, when they be like, bro, your fucking voice is annoying. Bro, they be ready to fight, bro. They be ready to fight on there. Damn, this kind of easy, not gonna lie. You're easy. That's why your pussy's loose. Anyway, oh, you're a pick me? Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Pick me. You can tell she part of the she part of the she part of the group, bro. She with the, that whoever she playing with, that's her squad, bro. That's the gang to her. Like they they that's how they communicate. Xbox niggas are just different, bro. Like, if you wanna be in a peaceful lobby, and PlayStation ain't even that peaceful. Them niggas got, it's like, PlayStation is like upper class shit talkers versus Xbox is like trailer park shit talking. Them niggas, them niggas are just different. But her right there, she, she, that's her crew. And you not finna talk shit to them. She finna be on, she go, she gonna probably be on your ass more than they are. That's the crazy part. Me for real women. Oh. <laughs> okay. So she said, I went. Boy, that was really, really satisfying to watch. <laughs> Watching her get on, like, yeah, she might have win won the game or whatever. It doesn't matter. The real victory was those guys <laughs> trying to, like, I don't want to use any bad words over here, but hey, that was just, you know what I'm about to say. She got owned so bad here. It's this pick me. What do you want to say is that she probably won the game, but the fact that the girl sided with the dude, deep down, that hurts her because she's trying to be like, what's it? Like, she's trying to, like, those fucking, 
what are they called? Not leftists, but uh, those activist type of white girls, bruh, who think they know racism more than black people and shit like that. They, they're just trying to like fix the world in their way but really like they don't even understand what people go through they just read a book and seen a martin luther king speech and want to be you know a savior instead of like really understanding each other to understand what we go through to really be a, a voice for us you know what i'm saying like you're not you're not going to change the world on a call of duty lobby that's not what you need to be putting your efforts in you're the ones that should be like out when you see cops doing somebody harassing somebody in walmart that's when you use your voice you need to be using your voice when you're like seeing people get you know seeing a karen harass a family at the, a black family at the park shit like that like not fucking call of duty you're just doing this for clicks and likes and people know that's fake and we don't want that bruh like, niggas know what the fuck we're getting into when we get on the Call of Duty. We know all kinds of racist shit. And that's just what it is. In Call that's what Call of Duty has bred. And, and it's more of a, like, a thing for Activision. And they've been trying to change a little bit of it. But ever since Modern Warfare 1 back in 2007, that's just what it is. And we, if we don't want to hear it, guess what? We unplug this fucking mic, bro. We don't ha you don't have to listen to that shit. And it's just like that's what they sign. That's what those dudes do. Like that's that they're they're just keyboard warriors, and that's what they're gonna do. They would never say that shit to somebody face because they know they get decked in the face. You get what I'm saying? You're not gonna change the world on a fucking Twitch stream, bro. You're not, bro. You're not. And and it's just like I can't even like give her praise for what she's doing because you're just you're just doing it to get views and, and money too like you're no better than them getting strings and clicks and for acting the way they act like you're no better than those people who are on kick harassing people in malls and shit for likes and stuff me twitch streamer simply shroomy who sadly streams off xbox so we can't hear her teammates on her live but after this game she found out who i was ended her live stream and had her mods beg mine in dms not to report her or make a video on her so of course i had to make a video on her just because you're not the one directly being extremely homophobic you're still a part of the problem if you associate with people like this and instigate them see how the agenda works I was, th mm -hmm. I, I thought all the ideology was like trying to be understanding of others, respecting everyone's boundary. But here, the other person said, don't post it. We don't want like it, but she's going to post it. Mm -hmm. Fuck your own race. Yep. That's what the message is. Let me know what it is about this. Well, I do know some men where it's just like you are paying attention on that game, talking to them uh, people, arguing with them people, and you could be in my face. It is some some men that need to give their woman uh, more attention, but it's just like the game is it just irritates me. But men are stressed out. They come I home, they the want to play the game. It's freedom. But why is a grown man do you want to come home and play with a controller? I you don't controller. play video. You don't. You know what? I'm <laughs> mad now. I'm upset. I'm mad. And she's probably the main woman. She probably don't fuck her man. Don't she probably always nagging. She probably don't cook for her man. She probably don't do shit but actual money and ask for that nigga to pay for rent and this that and third. And as a man, because a lot of men are just just psychologically taught that's what they gotta do as a man. Treat the woman right. Happy wife, happy life. Nah, fuck that. I'm I hate that mantra. And so she and i bet you she has not yet came home and instead of bitching about the game not once asked her man is he okay what's going on in his life do you need to talk and nine out of ten she probably done made it to where like he can't vent or talk to her so because she probably done threw it in his face or anything so now he resorts to the game like all men do and she part of the problem it irritates me when they laugh and get upset. Why are you upset that he releasing his bro? Man, this is like his only time of like having complete freedom and right. something to escape reality for twenty minutes, and you're trying to you take it away from him. You not doing all that with that video game. Yeah, you are. You get you to escape reality. Yeah. Well, they got niggas making on the game. <laughs> <laughs> 
avatars. Like, nigga, what you wanna look like? Who the f is this? Who the f is this? No. No, be the avatar. Who the f is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's not you? Yeah. What you got going on in here? I got like a I got a girl a virtual girlfriend. <laughs> That's hilarious. A woman telling a man you don't look like that. Come on. Be real. Come on. A woman should be the last person on earth to tell a man they don't look like that. If she's wearing a makeup, eyelashes. Right. Women women cake their face up with makeup, filters and everything. We didn't get mad at the dude for making a creative player. Even though I even find it weird they create virtual bitches. Hell, at least at least that dude happy with that virtual bitch. The virtual bitch ain't nagging and shit. Freak hair, fake everything. You should be the last person. Let's see some comment. They just hate to see us happy without them. What's her screen time on her cell phone on Netflix? Of course, all those TV shows about dumb stuff. That's fine. But man playing a video game, yeah, that's where red flag or something like that happens. So stupid. Let's talk about men that play video games, because I know it gets kind of controversial. Ladies, if you think that you're being controlling for not wanting your men to play video games as much as he does, or if he gets upset at you because you want to spend time with him and he's choosing to play video games instead, you have a right to be upset and your feelings are valid, okay? I know that there are worse things going on in this world, but this is just one of those things that gives me the ick. To be quite honest with you, because the amount of guys that I see in the back of their girlfriend's videos while the girlfriend is like trying to do something cute or even with the kids or whatever, and the husband is just vegged out playing video games like a child on the TV, I'm sorry. I think if you're a gamer and you guys do that as an activity together, it's different. Or if he has a set time that he says, okay, I'm going to hop on here with my friends and veg out and do this. Like, it's okay. We all need an escape, right? I'm not against that at all. What but I'm yeah, against is when these dudes would rather spend time on their effing video game in their own little world than face reality and do things with you. Like, bro, you're 25 years old. You're almost 30. Huh? Sometimes in their 30s and then in their 40s, and you'd rather play a video game than go pick up a book or work on yourself or make more money or... I don't know. It's just, to me, it's unattractive. I'm probably going to get hate for that, but I don't care. And a lot of you girls need to ditch your gamer boyfriends who choose the games over you because... Mad. This is so hard to watch. And women like her are the main ones that don't get married because they want all these women to ditch their gamer boyfriends. For what? And y'all gonna all go back to fighting over the same 10% of men they make more money. The man that you want that's making more money don't got time for you. Either way you look at it, the man ain't got time for you. You come home and you bitching and nagging, he finna escape. He finna get on the game. You want a man to go off and make more money, guess what? He's gone. That man is busy 24-7 doing something to make more money. And you think you finna get him to spend time with you? No. Be happy that that man that's on the game is even at home. There's so much other stuff. This world is so fucked up that he could be doing so much other shit in this world. And you're making his life harder. On top of that, you're not doing anything yourself. And it's like you sitting there and complaining that he's on the game, not taking care of his kids and stuff. But what if he was with the kids all day? It's stay at home. Dad's out here that be with the kids. It's dads that work twenty four, like to work twelve hours, come home, and put their kids to bed, read them a book, play with them, go to their football, soccer games, basketball games, all types of shit and be tired exhausted come home do what you want him to do and then as soon as they get on the game they get two hours to get home they get two hours of a long time to decompress before they go to sleep and do everything all over again you still bitching and complaining he done did all his duties it's like they're never going to be happy fellas women like this are never going to be happy bro 
whenever and when you see these flags raised, bro, just know it's not you. Now it's a difference in just a bum nigga that just ain't doing nothing with their life versus somebody who's literally a man doing everything in his power. Like I don't like they expect a lot of these men to be fucking Thanos and goddamn Superman when we're human. You know what I'm saying? Even Batman needed sleep, bro. Batman, Bruce Wayne, he is the most, uh, even Tony Stark, when he went and did too much, he crashed out and fell asleep, bro. Even they need to rest and decompress. That Bruce Wayne and Tony Stark drunk, and you know, that's exactly what they would do. They would go, they drink and go be with other bitches instead of staying at home with pepper pots. And then you want them to make more money. And, and you're not sitting there helping they stress. You're not sitting there asking them what's wrong with him. That he could be going through hell and back at work with his boss. His boss could be belittling him, making him feel less than a man, making him feel small. And y'all are not checking up on these men. And guess who's checking up on these men? The bros on the gang, bro. The fucking bros on the gang. I hate bitches like this. See, I think most men love video games. I think almost 90% of the entire world of men loves video games. And they don't want such kind of guys. Well, too bad. They're not going to teach video games. See, all the comments even here are all about that same stuff. Women hating men playing video games. Why are not spending time with me? If you got time for video games, do something productive and earn more money. More money for what? What is that going to, guy going to do with all that money if he can't even spend that on himself? Make more. That's why they're mad. You're not making more money for them to spend. That's why they're mad. Let me know what you guys feel about this. Mm-mm. Man, I feel sad for a lot of the bros out here, man. Anyway, I just wanted to see what that video is about. It came across my news feed. And uh, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to, you know, push the content out, man. I'm getting back on that grind slowly. Uh, shouts out to who was the last person that commented? I want to say it was Taylor A. I appreciate you. I'm doing good. It's just my sickle cells had me in the hospital. And so I'm trying to get back on it. I got to get back to making some music. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you for checking in on me. Uh, Neil, I appreciate you for checking in on me too, bro. Appreciate that. Uh, that's one more person that wrote me. Damn, I forgot your youtube name so y'all got y'all got some weird names bro y'all gotta change that shit to something readable anyway uh please like if you made it this far please like comment subscribe please need to get to 400 subscribers and then the next goal is 500 i'm trying to get there uh i want to do something for my birthday stream should i stream for my birthday or do like a birthday something I don't know. I ain't never. I don't never do nothing for my birthday, so I might as well do something with y'all. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace out. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see y'all in the next one.